Black lion tamarins are one of the most critically endangered species of primates in the world. There are as few as 1,500 left in the wild, and only a handful in a safety net breeding program, which is managed by conservationists at Jura Wildlife Park in Jersey. These tiny monkeys exist only in the interior Atlantic rainforest in the Sao Paulo region of southern Brazil. Over the past 40 years, 86% of the forest has been cleared for agriculture, leaving fragmented pockets of the original forest for the indigenous species to cling on to. From here we can see how the landscape is fragmented and the forest is reduced to little patches. And this is exactly where we have the remaining populations of black lion tamarind. Because this is the main area, the largest area, this is the only place where we can find a viable population of black lion tamarind. The other ones are too small and they bear a high extinction risk. Conservation organizations like Dural and Ipe have been working on the ground in Brazil for years, trying to re-establish the forest systems by joining the tiny forest fragments together with tree corridors. It's a massive task and the remaining populations of black lion tamarinds are cut off, making it impossible for these family groups to interact and to breed. Even in these relatively small forest fragments, finding the tamarinds is extremely difficult. So it's four in the morning and we are driving one hour to the fragment where we're going to look for the tamarinds, so fingers crossed. We have uh, those experts, our field assistants, that work for us. There's been more than 10 years following those guys uh, every month through the forest. And they kind of exactly know how to do it and where to go and where they are going. And they help us to collect all the data that we need to monitor those populations. They are at risk, so usually they can get away from us. Mas a gente, através do rádio, a gente consegue entrar debaixo dele de novo e começa tudo de novo. E aí se vai habituando ele. Eu sei, nesse 5 horas, vai até escurecer, até 6 horas, 7. Então, umas 7 horas, né? Segue o dia todo aí. After three days of waiting, we finally catch a glimpse of the elusive little monkeys in this group. So this group that we are following today, it has five individuals, so it's a medium-sized uh, uh, group. We have four adults and one juvenile. We started following them in April this year, and we've been coming every month since then. So we are in one of the fragments where we can find a, a very tiny population of black lion tamarins. Here in Pontal do Paranapanema we have about uh, five populations, if we can call it population. So we have the Morro do Jab, which is the only one that is viable. And we have four very small populations, if we can call them populations, because some of them have like, like five individuals in one fragment. And the largest one has about 40, 50 individuals. In 1999, the first tamarind was released into the wild from Dural's captive breeding program. For the last three decades, Dural has been instrumental in preserving these last remaining areas of rainforest by sharing expertise and training conservationists, both in Brazil and at their headquarters in Jersey. By highlighting the plight of extremely endangered species like black lion tamarinds, we can help to save the biodiversity in these rich habitats, which is great news not only for the flora and fauna of the region, but for the planet as a whole. I'm standing on the edge of a sugarcane plantation behind me and it stretches for thousands of um, hectares and it surrounds some of these tiny fragments of forest. And this is a, a monoculture, so in terms of biodiversity it's virtually nil. But if you just come across here, you'll see that this forest here is a a jewel of biodiversity and the contrast between this 
and the, the sugar cane is incredible. This is probably the most diverse terrestrial ecosystem there is on the planet, with some of the highest levels of biological endemism there is. So it's a, what we call a biodiversity hotspot, an absolute jewel of biodiversity. It's a desperate situation for the black lion tamarinds, but with intervention from organizations like Gerald and EP, there is hope for their survival. It's crucial that we monitor those po the populations of black lion tamarinds in the small fragments so that we know how to manage them. And it's just managing those small populations that face a high extinction risk that we will uh, assure that we will have them uh, healthy and viable in the future.